Hello everyone, so in this video, let us talk about the second problem from the lead code by the click on test 107. So let's start. The problem name is construct the longest new string. So the problem statement goes like this, that you're given three integers x, y, and z. And these depicts that x is the count of the string, which is equal to aa. y depicts the string count of bb. And z depicts the string count of ab. Okay. So you are given that how many strings you have of type a, a, b, b and a, b. Okay. Depending by x, y and z that is given to you as an input as you can see here. Now your overall task is to choose some of these strings that you have uh, like a bunch of strings that you have and then concatenate them. But the only condition that you have to understand while concatenating is that the new string that will be formed after contact concatenating should not contain like three consecutive a's or three consecutive b's as you can see as a substring in the new concatenated string if it is present then, then it is not valid now you just have to return the maximum possible length of the new string okay the maximum possible length of the new string that is the whole thing you have to maximize it so what is the maximum new length let's take some small example whenever you have such type of problem always try to take some small examples to inculcate in like inculcate different scenarios and see how you can proceed to come with some solution so let's take some solutions as you can see. What you can see here is that if I take AA, after that I can put BB, then I can again put AA and BB, that and so on. So if AA and BB, like if they are equal in count, I can just put AA and BB, there is no problem. But then after that, I have again one AB left, like after this. So if both of them are same, the, it will end with bb and then i will put a b and this is a complete thing so the overall thing is that if the number of count of a that is x and y are same if the count of x and y are same then the total count will be just put all of them together all the x's and y's together like all these are put in together like this so it will be a you can say a window of size 4 so a window of size 4 consists of one x that is one a uh, one a and one bb and it will be like together like this and then in the end i will just add all the ab's of the z so all the string combined together that is one of the valid thing if x and y are equal let's talk about some other cases if x and y are not equal let's say i have more a's than b's so i cannot put like this because if i have only one a i can put one more a like this but i cannot now again put a Similarly, if I have some more B's, if I have BB, I can put it like this. But then I cannot put more A, like let, let's say more BB like this. That is invalid. Okay, so the oral idea here comes down to that if I have some amount of A's and some amount of B's, I can take the minimum of both of them. So let's say I have two A's, like two A strings and five BB strings. So I can only take two A strings, combine it with two BB strings. So I can put it like this, A, A, B, B, A, A, B, B. So that I can do. Then after that, I can again put one BB more. So I can take one more BB, but I can like, if I start with this, then that is bad. So what I can do instead of that is I can put this BB here and can start with BB. So BB, A, BB, A, BB. And then in the end, I can just see how many ABs are there. So I can put AB one after another. There is no problem at all. So that's it. That is the idea that you have to understand that putting ABs, like how many Zs are there? There is no problem. I have to take all the Zs. If there are a and b that is not equal in number i will take the one that is minimum and like if there are two that is minimum of a's i will take two a's and two bb's that is here and then whatever is the larger i will take that one more time i can take it one more time so a a b b one window a a b b one window that is two windows are then and then again one more is there i can take to differentiate between this and the last one that is all the zips and that's it. That's the complete logic for this. You can just take out some brute force ways 
uh, like uh, take some examples and nothing much complicated here itself you just have to take some examples and it will become very intuitive to you so the overall logic here is that if x and y are equal then the answer is 4 into x because why it's 4 into x because how many total reactors i have x is how many uh pairs i can form with a a b b the total length of this a and b b is 4 and how many i have i have x number of times or y whatever you can take because x and y are same so i will take these windows of size 4 a a b b a a b b and so on because a and b are same x and y are same and the end i will put all the a b's together which is of the count z so z into 2 because a and b are window 2 okay that is one case if they are not in this equal scenario then i will take the minimum of both of them that is one thing in multiply it with 4 because that is the window size then i'll add 2 that is the one that is remaining and then all the others z into 2 that is uh, how many are left for the one that is a and b of length 2 i will just put it afterwards that's it. That's a complete logical code part for this particular problem. If you still have any doubts, you can mention them in the comment box of this particular video. I will see you in the next one. Keep coding and bye.